All right, hello, my name is Riker Reese. Uh, this is a weird video for my channel, and I'm not gonna waste any more time. If you have uh, the newest 2020 Asus StudioBook H7604JJVH, whatever, any of these, and yours is bricked right now because of that stupid Windows update, um, I'm gonna tell you how to fix that and get yours to turn back on like mine now does. So very first thing, you are going to need a toolkit of some kind. I have the iFixit Essentials Kit. You should have one of these if you have any electronics and you work on them. You need a Torx 5, a Philips, and a separate computer that you can put M.2 drives into. We're going to need that second computer in order to get rid of the file that is breaking your laptop. Now I'm not going to take mine apart right now, but uh, for the screws, these are the short screws, these are the long screws, and there's two medium screws that are like one millimeter shorter. Those are the corner ones. And for reference, the trackpad is about here, the back of the laptop is up here. And these screws also are all really pretty small, so make sure you don't lose them. Of course, if you have the iFixit kit, you've got a tool tray or screw tray. Right here is your lid, so make sure you use that. A while ago, I put a second uh, M.2 drive in here, and I had a pretty hard time getting it open for the first time. Uh, so what I did is on the back right here, um, you can pry from the the top keyboard chassis off of the to to pry the pry the bottom off. Um, I think I used a flathead screwdriver. Uh, if you have the iFixit kit, you can use this right here, which worked amazingly, way better than a screwdriver, and you don't have to worry about scratching it. Just make sure that um, you do not bend these cooling fins. You can bend them back, don't worry about that, but just try to be careful there. I had this problem with my computer. I've got an older first gen Ryzen ASRock board, <clears throat> and when I put the NVMe drive into my computer, my BIOS to the motherboard immediately tried to boot into it and uh, that doesn't work because uh, my drive was a bit encrypted and also because it's kind of broken. So uh, make sure you go into your motherboard BIOS and do not let it boot to your laptop SSD if it tries to do that. Mine did try to do that. Um, don't let it. And so once you have booted into your system, what we're going to be doing is you need to access the system part, like the Windows OS system part of your laptop SSD, assign it a letter, so like my boot drive is F or my second drive is D, whatever, whatever it's called. You need to assign it a letter so that it can be read by command prompt and then you need to delete one file and then you need to delete that letter that you created and then you need to put that back in your laptop and you'll be done with your second computer after that. All right, I'm gonna try my best and talk over this. So first, always do everything in administrator mode. If you don't, it won't work. So first, we're gonna open command prompt and type disk part and then list disk. That's gonna show us our disks. And first you need to uh, figure out which disk is your, um, your laptop disk. So for me, it's disk four. So I'm gonna type select select disk four, and then I'm gonna list the volume of disk four. This is like the, the categories. And then we're gonna select the system FAT32 one. That's kind of by your MyASUS one. For me, it's volume eight. Yours will probably be different. Now we're gonna assign it a letter so it can be read by command prompt later. And you can see on the left, now it shows up as system G. Uh, yours might be different. Uh, if you if that shows up you did it right close it reopen command prompt as administrator of course um, I did some weird stuff don't do that you're gonna type Dell G whatever your letter is uh, capped up bat BK temp whatever and if nothing happens you did it right um, it, it deleted it you can try it again and if it can't find it you did it right now we're gonna go back into disk part select your volume that you just made and we have to unassign that letter. So do not type delete letter like I did. You have to type remove letter equals whatever letter you assigned. Um, I did this weird, so I had two letters. So 
Now we're all done. Always shut your computer down before you move everything, move anything, um, and then just reinstall your SSD. All right, welcome back. I hope uh, everything went well and you didn't break anything. If not, good job. Now at this point, you've reinstalled your SSD. Do not put your screws back on your, on your back plate because you might have to redo this if you did something wrong, or I'm wrong, or who knows. Uh, do, not, do not put those screws on until you are absolutely certain that everything is working and you can restart your computer, your laptop, like two or three times, because otherwise you're gonna be taking those screws in and out probably four times. So I, I have had my SSD in and out of both systems probably four times now, but I finally got it to work. So save yourself some time and don't reinstall those screws. So now you should be able to boot into your, your laptop. Absolutely do not, do not close your laptop. Don't shut it down. Don't restart it. Do not do any of that. Because what'll happen is once you restart it or shut it down, it's gonna reinstall that Windows update and you're gonna be right back at that bricked screen. I was there four times trying to fix this, so do not do what I did. Do not restart this or shut it down until you did what's up next. So first, you're going to want to open up Device Manager. There's no administrator mode required for this. Um, just open up Device Manager, it'll, it'll uh, know it. So just open uh, Device Manager and then you'll be good. Go to where it says firmware and you should have three three tabs inside of firmware. I think there's a device firmware, some sort of webcam thing, like AI camera, something like that, and then also Studio Book UEFI, something like that. What you're gonna wanna do is go into the properties of all of those select driver and you're going to want to roll back the driver this is going to set it back to the version that doesn't break your laptop so make sure you roll back all of those they might change into something else like mine did which is why i can't really show you right now because they're not there um, but you'll want to roll every all three of those back and then you want to disable them so you can enable or disable a device, don't un uninstall it, but just disable it. If you do not disable it, they will come back. I didn't do that one time. I rolled it back and I didn't disable it and I had to do all of this again. So make sure you roll it back and also disable it. Now, once you've done that, you're going to need to download WinRow Tweaker. Everyone should have WinRow Tweaker if you're on Windows 11 because freaking Windows 11 sucks unless you use WinRow Tweaker to fix it. There's a lot of things you should and can do in here, like turn Windows 11 into a nice OS instead of a advertising service. So the two things we're gonna want to do is disable automatic driver updates and automatic Windows updates. Um, in the top left here, you can just search uh, update and both of those will come up. So they're in the behavior tab, behavior, disable Windows update. You can click on that. Mine is checked, disable Windows update. I'm gonna try and make sure it's in focus. I can't really tell. Um, and then do the same thing for the driver updates. Turn both of those off, make sure they do not update and they're not allowed to update. Because if you do allow them, you'll just undo everything you did. And now this next part is real scary because what you're gonna want to do is restart your laptop. WinRow is gonna have to restart to apply those changes. And if you do, you should not arrive back at the updating flash BIOS screen and with the ASUS logo and be bricked. If you did it right, you will not end up there. You'll end up back at Windows just like normal. One thing I also did too is I opened the My ASUS app and it tried to do some update just automatically, immediately. I tried to not let it. It did it anyway. And so I thought I was going to have to redo everything. But no, it is safe to open my window or my ASUS. It will not it will not mess with it. It shouldn't. So 
yeah, that, that should be it. You should be up and going. Um, I don't know what happened, but after I did all this, it's kind of just slower. Like booting up takes a lot longer than it used to. Um, before you do the tweaks and you restart it, it's like really, really slow. I think I had a uh, Chrome crash first time, just trying to open something. But yeah, as you can see, I restarted just fine. Um, so yeah. Now is the time where I'm just gonna ramble because I didn't wanna waste everyone's time at the beginning because I freaking hate tutorial videos where it's 10 minutes of nothing until you actually get there. So, first things first, um, I take zero credit for any of this information here. I would not have figured this out or done it or anything. I would have been at, I would have been calling ASUS for two hours. Um, all thanks to a Reddit thread, which I will post in the description. There are two guys in there that are very smart, way smarter than me. Um, but I think they explain things a little confusing because I had to do this four times. So hopefully if you watch this, uh, this helps you and you can do it the first time instead of four times. So, uh, of course those guys deserve all the credit. Uh, don't. Don't say thanks to me, go say thanks to them, because they did all this. As of now, it's July 25th, so this was a problem on the 21st, or whatever Friday is, today's Tuesday. And everyone is just sending their laptops back to Asus, um, but if you do that, you gotta call Asus for probably two hours, you gotta fill out an RMA, you gotta forfeit all of your data because they will just wipe this drive and probably reinstall the BIOS and reinstall Windows and you'll you'll get a fixed laptop, but you'll lose all of your data. Um, I had a lot of data on here because this is a creator laptop. I do my job on here. I'm the videographer at school. Um, I, I did not wanna lose like 20 hours of progress. So uh, before I even did anything, the very first thing I did was when I plug the drive back into my computer was since I have access to the files just not the OS um, I backed up those files that I absolutely needed fortunately I had the space and my laptops only um, the one terabyte 4060 version so it's no big deal it was only like 300 gigs um, but yeah it, it's the 25th Asus hasn't addressed any part of this so who knows if they'll fix it or if Windows will fix it, or if anything at all will happen. So, I guess we'll see. Because right now, um, this studio book is just frozen in time. It will probably not, well, yeah, it, it not probably, it will not receive any more updates from either by the Asus BIOS or Windows until this gets fixed or addressed or, or I don't know. Maybe the, the end solution is you just send it back to ASUS and they do whatever and and then you're good. So this is all covered under warranty. These laptops are like a few months old. Um, I watched the I watched the Zen book for months and months and months and months for it to go in stock. It never did. I don't think it still is in, you still can't get it. Um, but you can get these. And when this came out, I was like, oh wait, this is everything I needed. So I just got the studio book. Uh, but of course, being ASUS, it has to have some fatal flaw that you have to fix like this, which is really complicated, or you send it to ASUS. So, anyway, I, I hope this helped. Uh, sorry for the distractions, and if this was a little bit complicated to follow, um, I, I recorded so many different clips because I was thinking I was fixing it, and I wasn't, so, or, or I had to redo stuff, so sorry that uh, like in the middle section everything moves around a lot uh, but I hope this helped and if it did like follow go freaking get on your knees for those reddit guys because those guys know what they're doing uh, they saved me I hope they also saved you through me so yeah thank you for watching I hope this helped all right I know the video is already over but I just want to um, double check on some stuff always turn everything off before you unplug or plug anything in if you're going to take your ssd out and plug it into your computer make sure your computer's off and like if you're using a desktop your power supply is off because one time i don't know what was going on fortunately it wasn't a problem 
Um, as you can see, I, I am doing this really janky because I don't want to take my graphics card out or move my computer or anything. And right when I got the SSD halfway in, um, the, the computer turned itself on. I don't know how. It's just Windows 10 doesn't shut your computer off, even if you say shut off. So always shut it off. Always power it off. Like unplug it, basically. So yeah, I, I hope this helped. I hope this is cohesive enough to follow and that this... I don't know, is helpful because this is a really dumb issue and it's really complicated. So yeah, thank you for watching.